Welcome back to African Born Adventures. We're back at it again. Uh, this hunt, Sam and Nico are out harassing the warthog with the rifles. And my mate Darren and I are out hunting the uh, feathered deer stags with the bows. It's April, it's rut. So we're going to be trying some American hunting techniques. We're going to be a rattle and maybe try and call them in. Uh, obviously the females are very wary, um, so you still got to watch out for them. But the males have largely lost most of the uh, senses due to other priorities. So we're going to give it a bash and uh, see what happens. Thank you. It's a big body, yeah. Nice body. Oh, man. <laughs> Get it back, man. Come on, work for it, boy. Oh, wow, so much easier.
going to hit the salt blood. Hey it goes down. Fell down my boy. That's a good shot. It was quite intense. We had to wait for that pig to move and uh, he was behind another pig. I just just didn't want to move and then it was this way, that way and um, finally he stepped into it, into the open and it uh, looks like Nico made a good shot. Yeah. <laughs> Well done, my boy. We're gonna go have a look now yeah. and uh, have a closer look at the pig. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Found it. It's a proper pig, Nico. Well done. Thank you, Dad. Um, well done, Nico. Thank you. Thank you. That's a proper pig. I think that we were actually quite surprised when we saw the amount of pigs out here. There must have been about 10, 12. So we just set up and we watched patiently, uh, hoping to see a nice big ball. And true as, true as Bob, <laughs> this guy presented us with a nice shot. Uh, he was standing behind some females and behind another ball. And it was, it was quite tricky in this long uh, vegetation. But finally he stepped out and gave us a nice broadside shot. Nico, my man, <laughs> he made a good shot. I actually thought he went over the over the wall there, but he, he crashed in a pile of dust here. And uh, I think he probably went about 60 meters. Yeah. Uh, two to three did the job. And uh, that's a spectacular ball. It's got a huge body. Uh, short in the tusk, but you can see by its eyes, there's black rings under its eyes. That's a proper old ball. Well done, my boy. I think it's your biggest pig yet. Yes, Dad, it is. <laughs> well done. Well done. So the boys have been out and I must say they've had some good success. Uh, Nico managed to bag a proper pig, a brute of a body and um, some of the other pigs also took a tumble but uh, sometimes things happen so quickly you don't always get everything on film. Um, and I think now they're ready for the Philodia stags. We'll take the rifles, see if they can get some stags as well. Come and enjoy the action with us. There he comes out, there he comes out. He's on the right there. Well done, Nick. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> well done. Put it there. Last few minutes of the day. 
sunset. Lights fading fast on the way back home, trudging. <laughs> Luckily we were paying attention. It was actually in between the lettuce. Luckily we spotted him. So uh, initially we thought it was just a ewe and then we looked closely and it was a stag. And uh, Nico managed to put in a shot, slow him down and then he went and stood again and put another shot. Dropped him on the spot. Well done Nico, it's actually got a, a dark variation, a dark colour. Mm. Um, not a trophy stag, but a very very nice stag nonetheless. Well yeah. done my boy. Thank you. <laughs> quite misty this morning and we decided to just have a look see if there's any philodia out early this morning and uh, we got lucky uh, first we had Sam take a quick shot on a philodia stag that walked out in front of us uh, it was so quick I didn't even get a chance to get the camera up and then um, we just came around the bend and there was another stag this stag and Nico made a excellent shot with the 223 again and they were close by so for those of you that ever want to debate the importance of using suppressors on rifles, um, it makes a huge difference. Otherwise, we never would have seen this stag, it would have been gone. So yeah, um, two stags within literally five minutes of each other and uh, the freezers are full again. Nico, good shooting my boy, well done. It's a nice stag and uh, nice coloration. A little bit more on the darker side. It's post rut, so the bigger stags looks like they've kind of moved off, and it's more the younger stags hanging around the, the females. But uh, nice meat and nice stag nonetheless. This was the first stag that we shot this morning. Um, it actually caught us by surprise. We weren't ready. We literally gone like 200 meters from the farmhouse. And we came around a little bend and it came out in front of the road in front of us. And um, I just said to Sam, shoot over my shoulder quickly. So he used his trusty 243 uh, and pulled off a great shot. How close was it? Yeah, I think it was like 25 meters. About 25 meters. And uh, yeah, and the stag's surprisingly still in good nick. Um, it's post rut, so I was actually expecting it to be quite marred but uh, it still looks pretty decent. Um, obviously, we're hunting for meat here, so not every stag we're hunting is a trophy stag, but this is a beautiful stag nonetheless. But uh, you boys shot well this weekend. Oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> well done. Now it's time for Doran and I to try the stags with a bow. We've made a plan. We've noticed where the stag's been going up and down the mountain and we're gonna set up an ambush spot for him. Um, there's a particular stag that's been going up the mountain here. 
we've been noticing where it's going up and where it's coming down and uh, we're going to sit and we're going to try and uh, ambush him, call him and uh, rattle, see what happens. Hopefully he'll come our way. Did you get that one? Just a solid one. Yeah, it was. Eh? Yeah, it perfectly came in perfectly. Okay. Was it? And it was quiet. What a plan. Ah, man. Man. Rattling. He came right up. What distance was he? Jeez, I don't even know. I'll tell you now. But he was in my range. <laughs> he was a 25. 23. 23. And he yeah. came. I hammed on the shoulder, but he was 
walking when I hit him. So a little bit far back. But I think it's in. Is it? Okay. Wow, man, that's exciting. My first fellow deer ever. My first fellow deer ever. It's like in amazing. I mean, we've worked hard for this fellow deer. We really have. Up and down mountains. And to my good friend, Charles, thank you very much for the opportunity. So we came up here into this area where the fallow deer are rutting and we had a few opportunities yesterday, today another few opportunities and then this afternoon we went up to sit on a, on a little spot and then my friend had his uh, rattling and homemade grunter and we were doing that for a while and all of a sudden out the corner of my eye I noticed this movement and then he spotted us a moment and then shawl rattled just a little bit and that settled him down and I drew the bow and he came around looking for this competition that he was going to beat up. He was roughly 20 meters I let fly and uh, a little bit far back but it did the job pretty well. That's super stoked thanks my buddy. So Doran and I's plan worked out perfectly. Uh, the stag that's been going up and down the mountain here we set an ambush for him and uh, we rattled and called and we are very happy with the way that panned out and our plan worked extremely well. Nico, stop moving around. Stand still. Jeepers, creepers. You're missing the audio. <laughs> You're so stiff, you know that. No, no flexible. Ah, clearly, I'm gonna... Don't say me. Ah, oh, what's it on you? No. Nobody's, nobody's watching, you can take it down. They're gonna be on bloopers, this. I mean, Uncle Ryan would never do that. Ah, that's just a signal. 